your last match was a little extra. Listen, I meant what I said about fighting my battles. I can take care of myself. I know that. You're a strong, fierce woman and competitor who I greatly admire. So I definitely don't think you're so thirsty and insecure that you're creating all those Dewdrop fan accounts. And they said I'm doing that? Oh, that was the least of it. None of it seemed right, especially considering what's going on with Stephanie McMahon right now. What's going on with Stephanie? Wait, you don't know? I shouldn't have said anything. You've handled it well so far, so no reason for you to worry about it and be distracted. Tell me. Stephanie's been pretty vocal, at least around legends like my aunt. She thinks you're a terrible champion and is trying to do everything in her power to undermine you. She's even been asking management to put you in more difficult matches before your title defenses, so you're more likely to lose. I think that's why they're planning a handicap match for you next week. Why would they do that? I don't need to prove anything in the ring. I'm the SmackDown Women's Champion. I decide when and where I fight. It's all Stephanie. Although, I bet if I leverage my aunt's position as a WWE legend, I could get myself added to that match so it's not a handicap. I know it's unconventional, the two of us teaming up when I just qualified for Elimination Chamber, but... I meant it when I said I admire you. It would be an honor for me to tag with you. That it would. Let's do it.
Better get ready. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Justine, Ivy, Green, and Dutra. The tag team division here has never been more competitive. Every team needs to deliver an emphatic message each week. setting competitor. There are already plenty of accolades and a very bright future. And their opponents, first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Aaliyah! She has the quickest victory in WWE history, beating Natalia in 3.1 seconds. Hey, who knows, Michael? Maybe she'll break that record tonight. She's just so excited to be performing for the WWE Universe tonight. Well, let's see if that excitement translates to a win. Indie Wrestling is here. Quite the impressive young talent. Yeah, Indy's reached the main event level of NXT, and I believe she can do so elsewhere. Byron, she's in amazing shape. She has great in-ring IQ for her age. That's all true, Michael, but history has shown that Indy Hartwell has some bad taste when it comes to husbands. Go ahead, Byron, shoot your shot. This may be the first time Dewdrop and her partner have teamed up. There's already chatter. They could be one of the most dominant duos in WWE. The legacy superstars' newfound ferocity combined with Dewdrop's championship grit and Justine's chessmaster moves? That's a scary combo. Especially if you're Indy Hartwell and Elite. DDT! <laughs> Evades the attack. Resolve. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? Fights the shoulder up in one. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Power bomb. Oh, shoulders down. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. And she dodged that one nicely. And she's been brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, the faults in her game plan are being laid bare. Uh-oh. It's going. We're going to see it. Watch oh, the back of the net. Lady's eyes on Aaliyah now. The cover. Maybe not. Nice counter from Indy. This is 
is unique. She's going for it. from this duo. Chemistry on point. Teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around. That was a lot of fun. Stephanie was wrong about you. You're not a stumbling clown in the ring at all. What's her problem with me? I don't know. I just hope she doesn't go through with it. Go through with what? <sighs> me and my dumb mouth again. She really doesn't want you to be champion. In fact, she's coming to SmackDown next week to try to convince the rest of management to make the Elimination Chamber match for the championship itself. I guess she thinks someone can take the title off you sooner. She wouldn't dare. I know, Stephanie's pretty strong-willed. But maybe next week is a good opportunity for you to talk to her about it. I'm sure it's all a misunderstanding. You're not really a fashion challenge loser who can't even speak English properly. If you state your case in a strong and convincing manner, maybe she'll back off. Oh, I'll state my case all right. Breaking news. I have just received word that visiting WWE Chairwoman Stephanie McMahon was the victim of a shocking attack at the hands of the SmackDown Women's Champion, Dewdrop. No motivation for this attack has been given, but WWE officials were able to restrain Dewdrop before Stephanie was seriously hurt. I'll update the WWE Universe with more news when I have it.
Seems like everything is going according to plan. Nicely done. Stephanie met with me after the attack, and she's pretty fired up. I think it's going to work. Perfect. Get excited, because it's that time. Time for me to tell you about the Elimination Chamber preview match. What's the plan? Before the weekend's Elimination Chamber premium live event, we're holding a preview match on SmackDown. A six-woman tag. You, Dewdrop, and Lacey Evans versus Carmella, Bailey, and Zia Lee. Fine by me.
see a martial arts masterpiece, both on the ramp and in the ring. Chongqing, China, Zaya Lee! The mysterious protector has arrived. I have to wonder, Cole, is Zaya truly a protector or are there evil intentions as well? She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Self-proclaimed most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Self-proclaimed, Cole, would you listen to yourself? I'm sitting right here. I'm making the proclamation. We are all witnessing the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Corey, you're a bit biased. So? At least he admits it. that she's the one that built the women's division. It's a claim Bailey has every right to make. She's the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion in history at 379 days. Listen, Bailey couldn't be more aggressive. She couldn't be more vicious. And she claims she's a role model for all the women in WWE. I can't believe Bailey has gone so far as to shave the name of her rival in the back of her head. Who does that? Well, those of us that have hair to work with Saxton generally try to do mind games like that. Maybe we can get you a dry erase board for your head. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Ivy Green. No surprise given her pedigree, but this superstar brings a very well-rounded skill set to WWE. It's almost like spending your childhood learning from a legend has some upside. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. And 
from Ayrshire, Scotland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Dewdrop. Hey, Graves, here's a woman who's been a uh, decorated all over the world. Oh, you're right about that, Cole. And Dewdrop wants her share of the spotlight here in WWE. And the good news is, Ms. Drop possesses the power to take what she wants. I tell you, there are some times when Dewdrop seems unstoppable inside that ring. Plenty of power in her game. Lacey Evans is a last minute scrap tonight, so this Elimination Chamber preview is now officially a two versus three handicap match. No details on Lacey Evans' absence yet, but it's certainly not like her to no show. Yeah, definitely a head scratcher, but these five superstars will have to do their best to ignore the distraction and focus on the business at hand. And finds a counter. to the arm. She's forced onto the defensive now. Driving a knee into the arm. Uh-oh, this is just vicious, vicious arm stop. Distress showing on the face of Zia Lee. This is where Zia will be tested. Systematic attack on that arm. Set up in the corner of the ring. Zaya gets her back. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Zaya needed. Yeah, Zaya's survival instincts taking over there. Right to the spine. There's the switch. Carmella is in. Top. Oh, great! 
Two feet to the chest. Close eyes. Good Lord. So effective. Big boot! Ooh, answer that with a stick knee. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex! Dewdrop caught off guard. Right to the face. Go oh, right to the kidneys. God, Step right into the ball. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ultimate insult to injury with that stolen move. Put down with her own biggest move, but it couldn't finish the job. Come on with a super kick. Two drops got to dig deep now. This could be it. Cover for the win. Me. What just happened? Uh, I don't know, but I think it just blew the roof off this arena. And a befuddled look comes across the face of Carmella. She doesn't understand what just happened. <laughs> Sit out slam. Looking bad for her here. This is not going to end well. Big time power. Places are right in the corner. Splash. What's Dewdrop forming here? Incredible impact. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. Quick. 
It's impossible to challenge anyone's character when they kick out of that maneuver. Dewdrop can't believe her opponent was able to kick out after that. She thought she had this finished.
Still got more fight here. She sent to the outside. She's got her in her clutches. She throws her back in. to celebrate, especially with the added pressure and the scrutiny this superstar faces. She's up against wrestlers, whispers, and memories, and tonight, you could say she beat all three. This win is going to have them on a high for quite some time, I have to believe. Winning's great, Saxton, but they have to start thinking about their next challenge sooner rather than later. This win won't be all that matters much longer.
I can't believe someone took out Lacey. I mean, kudos to them. I certainly benefit from her not being in the match. Sounds like whoever did it did a great job. Honestly, I'm a little jealous. They didn't even get spotted. Though remember, WWE is going to fill the spot. Might be someone tougher. True. I wonder if the person who took out Lacey is hoping for that final spot. If that's the case, you know my guess. What's your guess? Seriously? Hmm. Is there anyone who would benefit from an open spot in the match? Maybe someone who benefited in the past when a lighting rig fell on your tag team partner before the money in the bank match? Maybe you're right. Ava was pretty angry when Dewdrop was added to the chamber and they canceled Ava's qualifying match. Watch out. If it is Ava, she'll be gunning for you. I know that if I were her, I'd still be hungry for proper revenge. But we'll see soon enough how it plays out for Ava when WWE announces the final entrant. Dude, did you hear about this hashtag dark pod thing for the women's elimination chamber? There's gonna be like a whole human in one of the chamber pods, but it'll be dark, so we won't know who it is until it opens. Yeah, I've heard about it, Riddle. It's wild. There's a lot of rumors flying around about who's going to be inside, so I gotta ask, are you in the dark pod? Um, me? Yeah, I won't tell if you are. I'm not in the dark pod, Riddle. Oh, okay. So I gotta ask, am I in the dark pod? You? I won't tell if I am. I don't think so, Riddle. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thanks, bro.
that more people aren't guessing that I'd be in the dark pot. Are you in the dark pot? No, but I should be. I'm the best thing this women's division has got right now. I shouldn't be left out of this historic match. Hey, you may not be in the dark pod, but at least you're not in a goat head. Rude! I can't say we've ever had anything like a dark pod before, and I've seen a lot around here. Actually, you do see a lot around here, Tom. Any chance you know who's inside that dark pod? Why would you think I know that? I don't think you know, Tom. I'm just asking. Nope. Huh. Never knew you to be so short. You usually have a lot to say. <sighs> Good luck out there tonight, LJ. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here tonight in one of the most highly anticipated Elimination Chamber matches of all time. Thanks to the all-time talents vying for the title and one mystery opponent. Any guesses on who's in there, Corey? If I were competing, I'd be terrified to see Ava Moreno walk out of that dark pot, especially in light of what she just did to Lacey Evans. Allegedly. More respect than all with that action. It could also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. Made her pay for her mistake. Getting set up for something in the corner. Bullseye with the drop kick. Dodges. She's got her sights set on winning this 
mistake. I gotta say, she could do it. Mounting a downed opponent. Look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap for the exclamation point. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Ooh. She can end it here. And she kicks out at two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Into the pin attempt. Two. Powers through after two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Boom. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Lift up. Drop within 
incredible amounts of fight still left in her. And Bailey is consumed with anger. Has to be frustrated. Not putting her away there. as it gets. Yeah. Running clothesline. <laughs> Bailey fending that off. And it looks like they have no problem bending the rules there. <laughs> Dewdrop just looking to humiliate her opponent. <laughs> Bailey to belly. And now she's getting back into the ring. It's not easy to kick out of that. And you see a perplexity now for how such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. Whoa, a stiff headbutt. <laughs> That's gotta be it. There's two! And we have the nation has been eliminated. Get on over here, I'm gonna break your back. Expected that one. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? No, she kicks out. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Nasty stop of the arm. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Truly fighting to the last breath, but we might be coming up on that soon. Ooh. Oh, jeez. And Bailey's having trouble managing his onslaught. Bailey's being cut off at every pass. High angle exploder suplex. For the win. Two count and a kick out at two and a half. Somebody pitched me. I, I gotta be dreaming. There's no way she's still in this match. Look at this. Attack in the foot. Oh, that hurts. Looking to triple the leg. She avoids the attack completely. applied. Up and down. Look at it in here. This could be it. One, two, three, no. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Bailey did her homework there. Dragon screw. Bailey might want to focus on her opponent more than the crowd. Ooh, jarring right hand. Somersault a prettier. That hit the spot. She's finished. Two. Bailey has been eliminated. It's about to open. It's been the best kept secret in WWE since it was announced. Everyone's on the edge of their seats to find out who's inside. The wait is almost over because the mystery entrant into the Elimination Chamber is about to be revealed. All right. It's Justine, WWE legend and Hall of Famer Justine is the mystery entrant into the Elimination Chamber match. One of these two women will be the next SmackDown Women's Champion. But how? We haven't seen Justine in the ring for over a decade since her career-ending injury. She certainly doesn't look injured to me, Corey. And she also doesn't look like she minds that the woman standing in the way of winning a championship is her niece. Justine immediately on the offensive. Setting her up. And down. It looks as if her niece was completely caught off guard by this. She's getting dominated in there. 
Wait a second. We've seen this before, but not in a very long time. It's vintage Justine here tonight. The Justine Jammer with the cover. It's over. We have a new SmackDown Women's Champion, and I can't believe I'm saying this. It's Justine. Justine is the new SmackDown Women's Champion. There were so many names thrown around about who was going to be in the dark pod, and Justine wasn't even on the list. Her niece must be shocked. I think the entire WWE Universe is shocked. I'm having flashbacks to 2002. Simply unbelievable that we are witnessing this right now. What a moment in WWE history. Did you know that Justine was in the dark pod? No, they kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I can't believe it happened. And I was there getting pinned. She's my aunt. I'm supposed to be able to trust family. I thought I was like family when we were partners. And you know how that turned out. But there is an upside to having lived through that experience. What's that? I can help you now. Listen, no one knows your aunt like I do. I remember what she was like when she was on the main roster. What got under her skin, her toughest opponents, her regrets, her weaknesses. If you're on a collision course with her now, and you seem to be, you'll want me by your side to give you the best chance to beat her and win the championship that should have been yours. The best way to take down your aunt is to make her confront the past. Confront the past. Interesting idea. I'll think about it.
Well, that was one of the wildest things I've ever seen in WWE. You're telling me. I know she's your family, but I can't get over how these legends come in and trying to make everything about them. Why can't the older generation stand aside and let us have our shine? They already had their time. Justine certainly makes everything about her. But I don't care what kind of a miraculous recovery she may have had. Justine should have let me have my moment. Right? How can these WWE legends expect WWE to grow and move forward if they stay stuck in the past? I'm not the only one in the locker room who feels this way. If you need help with your aunt, you've got backup. I mean, these legends think they're hot, but put them up against a faction of the top and upcoming current superstars and we shut them up real fast. We need to force them to embrace the future. Embrace the future, huh? You might have something there. Our brand new SmackDown Women's Champion is here to address the WWE Universe after her shocking return and victory at Elimination Chamber. So, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. I've been medically cleared. Surprise! You know, I thought I had closed the books on my WWE career. But being around here lately reignited a light I thought had gone out. As I got involved, Coming back into WWE, first with my podcast, and then as a manager, I started to wonder. Edge, Lita got second acts. Why not Justine? The more I gave, the more I realized, you need me. You need me because you deserve to see me finally reap the rewards of the path I trailblazed to fulfill the promises that I wasn't able to keep when my career got cut short to- What the hell? <laughs> I was wondering when you would show up. Figured you would, given how much you like to ride my coattails. What are you talking about? Why didn't you tell me you were cleared? And why haven't you called me back? Would you have paid attention if I had? After the way you laughed at me when I suggested we team up for the Money in the Bank tag team match? 
after you never thought to ask me how I was doing whenever I mentioned my doctor's appointments. I'm beginning to think I should have set up those lighting rigs to fall over on you instead. You did it. Why wouldn't I? Because I'm an old, washed up, past her prime legend. Girlie, you best not insult me, because I taught you everything you know. LJ. Too bad you don't have the goods to back it up. I was proud when you decided to wear your own gear for your debut and make your own mark. But it was probably then that I started to realize you don't have what it takes to push our family name forward in this business. That I'd have to do that myself. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, LJ? You followed me around like a shadow your entire life and you don't understand. When you hesitated in using the chair in your main event match with Ava? What? Were you afraid the chair would bite you? <laughs> You've always lacked an edge. I would never have made that mistake. Because I've always known exactly what I want. What I needed to do. In a world that was five times as hard and seven times as brutal for me. I tried to help you. But even as your manager, you were just blindly following everything I told you to do. Seriously, child, think for yourself. You know the difference between you and me, LJ? I've never been content walking in someone else's path. And I never had the luxury. I've always had to make my own. My head is spinning here. Justine's not only back, but she's put a target on her niece? Justine's certainly drawing a line in the sand here tonight. How do you even respond to a betrayal like that? From a member of your own family? I think we're about to find out. And I have a feeling that whatever she has to say, it could have some big ramifications for the WWE Universe. You know what I find curious, Auntie? That for someone who's so adamant about creating her own path, you're pretty consistent in bringing up the past and what you've already done. Boo-hoo, I'm Justine. It was so hard for me. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But I also don't see any other WWE legend standing in the ring right now telling a sob story about unfinished business. Maybe that's because they accomplished what they set out to do. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? If you failed because you were so mistreated, put upon, and unlucky with an injury, or if you failed because you just don't have what it takes. You shut your mouth. No, nah, I'm done listening to what you have to say. And I'm done asking for your advice. The only thing I'm asking for, the only thing I'm demanding is to set the record straight. You think you're so powerful that the only thing that stopped you back in your day were forces beyond your control? some sort of big bad that had it out for you, then I'm going to tear apart your past and prove that it wasn't them, whoever you think of them is. It was you, Justine. Weak, powerless, a lot of talk and no action. And then, then I'm going to tear you apart. And at WrestleMania, take the SmackDown Women's Championship. Did we just see a WrestleMania match being made? I think we did, Saxon, and I gotta admit, it's not a matchup I thought we'd ever get on the grandest stage of them all, and I also don't think we've ever seen a statement that powerful from this superstar. 
I've got to agree, Corey. And if Justine's going to have her pass torn apart in any way, well, let's just say there's a lot to unravel there. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 
Ivy Green. And from Glasgow, Scotland, almost a superhero, Nikki A.
It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Ivy Green. This young superstar really is the complete package. She's got power, determination, grace. Apparently dirt on you, Saxton. Give it a rest, she still has a lot to prove. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. The mightiest superhero in all of WWE. And accompanied by the hurricane from parts unknown mighty molly i always thought the women's division needed a superhero don't forget almost a superhero molly is fully a superhero molly fsh yeah yeah i dig that fsh this to the list of things I never thought I'd see. It's Mighty Molly versus a super legacy superstar. For those of you who listen to her podcast, i.e. me, it sounds like her niece's new superhero costume is starting to super annoy Justine. Whoa, 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 hold up. You listen to podcasts other than mine? Oh, look at this. The school girl! And she kicks out. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Uh-oh, this is just vicious, nasty stop of the arm. Now that'll do some serious damage. Return fire from Molly. Expected that one. Full control, what a kick. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. Gets the shoulder up. Not quite. The arm wrench, aggressive work on that shoulder. Attack after attack is smothering Molly. Molly finding herself in a tough spot. Looking for an early pin. She probably didn't expect it to put her away there, but she's put her on notice. Taking aim on the arm. She hit her hard. Big hip toss into the cartwheel. And a knee strike, what a combination. Oh my god, he's got him! Oh, what a way to shatter an arm. This match is wearing her down. And hanging tough, the beginning of shows that might be it. She kicks out with authority after two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. to the mat. Attack after attack is smothering Molly. Molly finding herself in a tough spot. <laughs> Made her pay for her mistake. Could do what she needed to ignite a rally. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. Breaker into a butterfly suplex. And she's being held in check here. She has to build the strength to turn the tide. <laughs> Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Cover. Two. Oh, and a kick out. Down to the wire. Who's going to give in first? <laughs> <laughs> right down to the 
She'll need some serious recovery time after this. Yeah, she's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. Oh, the rope step. Cold screw plopped over the outside. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. And now thrown back into the ring. Up to the top rope now. She's calling for it. Up high. Big mistake there, Corey. Well, she knows that now. She's staying elusive. Attack after attack is smothering Molly. Molly finding herself in a tough spot. And Molly escapes danger. And a big strike. What a combination. Wait, wait, is she? Yep, looking for the submission. Into an armbar. Submission move locked in. Is she going to tap, tap, tap? And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their play. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Sky high. Look at the height. Cover. Two count. Oh, and a kick out. How did she do that? I can't believe it. The people can't believe it. I don't think the referee can believe it. Oh, I saw it coming. Tossed into the corner. Well, that got turned around on Molly. Oh, I'm trapped. Oh, a slam. Attack after attack is smothering Molly. Molly finding herself in a tough spot. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. To the sky. in time. How is that not three? She's got her in her sights. Oh, oh this, my is gosh. this is unique. Uh -oh. Face buster. Uh-oh. Let's go. We're going to see it. Right to the back of the net. Well, that could bring an end to Molly. So it was there. was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling.
Molly tells me that you're trying to add fuel to the fire of your fight with your aunt. I don't know if I can help, but I can give you a tip. Justine always hated my cowboy hat. So I should wear a cowboy hat? No. Let me say more words. She hated my cowboy hat because it reminded her of Trish Stratus. Your aunt always resented Trish for being the face of the company. Trish always got more buzz, more press. Even now, Trish's face is on the side of the production truck, not Justine's. Wasn't Trish also a seven-time women's champion? She sure was. One more than Justine's six championship wins. Which your aunt especially resented because before Trish came to WWE, she was a model, so Trish had to learn the business from the ground up. Justine always thought Trish got special treatment compared to someone like her, who worked in other promotions for WWE. What do you think? Is there something you can use there? Sure is. And if how much Trish is celebrated bothers Justine, we probably should just celebrate her more. I'm here on NXT tonight with a big announcement. I'm proud to share that the superstars of tomorrow will be honoring the legacy of the greatest WWE women's legend of all time. I'm announcing the first ever Trish Stratus Battle Royal. Well, the main event is next week. We're kicking things off tonight as I personally honor Trish by wearing this out to the ring for a special match on NXT 2.0, the old WWE Women's Championship. This is the same championship that Trish won seven times over the course of her remarkable career. Even my Aunt Justine didn't hold it seven times. It is going to give me such stratisfaction to wear this tonight, in homage to the greatest WWE legend and women's champion ever, Trish Stratus.
A woman who calls herself undeniable. She certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Utah, Zoe Stark! This is a tough, tough woman. No doubt, Zoe Stark, one of the hardest hitters in the women's division, also battled back from a devastating torn ACL to reestablish her spot in NXT. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the WWE Women's Champion, Ivy Green. Few superstars come in the WWE with higher expectations than this woman. Nepotism can open the door, but now it's up to her to see what she can do with it. This is a woman ready to do some damage. One of WWE's most exciting superstars is here visiting NXT. And she brought a vintage WWE Women's Championship to top the upcoming Trish Stratus Battle Royal. It's obvious she's throwing Trish Stratus accomplishments in her aunt's face. Is it going to work? We'll see. Police German. Oh, this is just flat out punishment. Both arms trapped into the crucifix. Shoulders down. And the shoulders up. Right to the arm. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Yeah. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Yeah. Arm in the arm. Oh, and a knee strike. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. Shoulders down to the count. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. Oh. Super kick. The fatigue is setting in for her. She can withstand the punishment, though. Close line! Constant pressure being kept on Zoe. Zoe has to wake herself up and turn her intensity up a notch. Oh, oh my gosh! Surfboard leg breaker! Attack in the foot! Oh, that hurts. Look at this. Zoe oh, disabling the leg with that. Counter. Stark finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Stark hoping to start a rush of her own with that attack. And she saw that coming from Zoe. Ah, look at this. Oh, God, that hurt. She's showing signs of slowing now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Golly, that could do permanent damage. Gets herself out of a precarious position. Nice takedown. Turned that one around. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Oh, what a neck. Uh oh. Uh, elbow smash. Zoe with the retaliation. 
No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following contest is a six-woman battle royal! Making her way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Ivy Green! The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lions! Already a favorite of the NXT crowd. It won't be long before the entire WWE Universe catches on. She is a very, very hard worker who is always up for a challenge. You know, she won tag team gold in NXT. Yeah, but also still a threat in singles competition as well. not just as a capable singles competitor, but also a tag team competitor as well. A great young talent with an extremely bright future. And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. Before she turned 21 years old, she had already won the first ever NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and the NXT yeah. Women's Tag Team Titles. And she has a bright, bright future. for competition in Roxanne's eyes. The very definition of young and hungry. Nobody's happier to be here than Melee Fan. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Melee Fanny Fan. Melee Fan is one of WWE's most exciting talents. I think the word you're looking for is excitable, Saxton.
She knows she deserves to be atop this division, and a win tonight will go a long way towards that. Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. From a manager to a groundbreaking competitor, you cannot talk about the greats in the women's division without talking about Trish Stratus. And all of her opponents leave the same way, Stratus 5. Oh my god, 
up in the gym. Oh, my goodness. That's insulting. Fan gets countered. Boom. Oh, nice. And the challenge officially being laid at Trish's feet with that attack. Showing a lot of grit here in the late stretches of this battle. Room. The only question is, can it last to the end? Spinning heel kick. More classic than this. Trish Stratus about to lose some Stratus faction. Trish Stratus put things away here. Big Swanton. Awesome. whispers and memories and tonight you could say she beat all three i have a lot of respect for the performance she just gave in this match she earned this win no question
I thought what you said in the ring was exactly on the money. And I'm happy to help you take Justine down by... How did you put it? Tear apart her past? That's it. I think Justine's plan is to steer clear of you before the WrestleMania match. Which is official, by the way. But if you want to get the upper hand, you might not have to take the fight directly to Justine anyway. Taking some steps to remind Justine about her biggest regrets will go a long way. I have a few ideas, and I've already made some calls to get a couple of other WWE legends to help, too. I gotta ask, are you just helping me so that you can get back at my aunt? Oh, there's definitely an element of revenge to it. Do you know what it's like for people to think I'm the villain of my story? But I also meant what I said to you on day one at Survivor Series. I'm here to help you. Justine's so stuck in the past and her grievances that she's forgotten her obligation to help the next generation, even her own niece. Ain't that the truth. Are you ready to get started? I do have one idea that involves a certain red-haired, moonsaulting WWE legend. But with the amount of grievances your aunt has against this company, there's definitely more than one way to approach this. You talking about Lita? Who else could it be with that description? Let's start with her then. What are you thinking? One thing your aunt could never shut up about was that Lita got the first women's cage match in WWE, not her. A steel cage match with Lita would certainly rub that in her face. Lita's just going to agree to that? No, but if you lure her to Raw by making her think she's getting another Raw Women's Championship opportunity, confront her backstage and I bet you can get her in a match. After her near miss with Becky Lynch last year, she still got an itch. I'll do it. WWE legend and Hall of Famer Lita has graced us with her presence here tonight. From behind, 
What is she doing here attacking Lita? No clue, but it looks like she wants a fight. Taking a look backstage and, oh my God, this is a developing situation. That'll light up your chest. Out of the way in time. I like my crush. Inverted. Oh, Matt slam. With some attitude. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Kick to the gut. Sick for the ride through the table. Oh, and she got out of there. Oh, the arm's trapped. Oh, and a slam. Ooh. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Power bomb. Oh, Lita avoids contact. I like my crush inverted. Just like that, Lita counters. Sidewalk slam. Face first into the chair. A well-timed dodge. Lita's crafting something. Drop kick. Oh, oh great height. Steel chair! Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. Bam! Here. No! Oh. Avoiding contact. Hurricane Rana! Oh, oh, oh. Gosh! Rolling into a monkey flip. Flips it back on her. <laughs> Gotta find a way to get out of this. Bang! Cut her! <laughs> oh, what a roundhouse kick! Uh-oh. Spinning, sit out, power bomb. Bang! And she dodged that one nicely. Oh, the arm's trapped. Oh, and a slam. position to be in right now. Power bomb! <laughs> Boom! Lita is reeling to her feet. Full Nelson applied. Up and down! Like Saxtonation, but better. first. Ducking out of trouble.
Oh, what a... Right. That was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now. Now, can we get some help back? Well, look who it is. A ding dong. Get out of my locker room. Hi, Bailey. Here to steal someone else's sponsorship deal? Is that why you're after Lita? She's got one you want, doesn't she? Wow, you have quite a one track mind, Bailey. So what? Don't need more than one track when it's the right track. I'll be watching you. Kind of creepy, but fine with me. You're more than welcome to watch me beat Lita. I hope you won't make a habit of being here on Raw. Nice to see you too, Charlotte. And don't try pulling what you pulled on Lita on me. First of all, you wouldn't succeed. I'd wipe the floor with you. But I'd rather not expend the minimal amount of time and effort it would take to do so. Right. We can agree to disagree. But don't worry. I don't have time for you either. I'm focused on other opponents right now. You know, ones that actually pose a challenge. If you need any advice when it comes to steel cage matches, I'm happy to help. It's one thing to take on a legend, but I've taken on a McMahon in a steel cage. Naturally, it was a memorable instant classic of a match.
Wait, didn't you lose that match? Win, lose, who really remembers? Just don't let your opponent weasel out of their clothes to escape. That would be an embarrassing way to lose. You know, hypothetically. Right. I think I'm good on advice. Suit yourself. You know, provoking WWE legends is usually a bit frowned upon by management. I needed to get Lita's attention. Besides, another WWE legend provoked me first. As management are supposed to say, there's no excuse. Consider this a warning. And as Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid who's not WWE management? You certainly know how to entertain, and knowing Justine, I'm sure it's getting under her skin.
Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following is a steel cage match. Making our way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Ivy Green. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. Time to get extreme. From Sanford, North Carolina, Lita! Hey, here's a Hall of Famer with plenty of attitude. The controversial, the rebellious, the breathtaking Lita. All those attributes are what have made Lita a true legend. Steel tonight is the legendary Lita and her opponent square off in a steel cage match here on Raw. After suffering a brutal backstage attack, Lita will be looking to teach her attacker a lesson about respecting her elders. Make that Hall of Fame elder, Saxon. Beautiful sent on. Impressive reversal there. Banging back with their own counter. Snap suplex. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Saw that one coming. Lita's showing the crowd some love, and they're returning the favor. Ow! Lita's losing any remnants of control now. Lita needs to figure things out. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Just one step ahead. Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Can't prepare your face for that. Wards off that offense from Melina. Uh-oh. The shit. Nasty dragon screw. Oh, oh kick. Nasty kick. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. She avoids the attack completely. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking of it. Ooh, take down. Skull first. Uh oh. Drop kick with precision. That offense really hitting her hard. It's encouraging to see a superstar withstand the punishment of a steel cage. That said, you want to make sure you dish some out, too. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Lita is really falling behind. Yeah, Lita has to wake up and fast. And Lita reverses it. Could be what Lita needed to ignite a rally. The reverse! Twist of fate! Now she's scaling the cage wall. Gotta wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. Off the top turnbuckle. Only one way to go. Electric chair. She comes off the cage for a harsh landing. Oof, things definitely didn't go to plan for her. Oh. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Oh! Pinning down their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. 
vicious kick to the spine, and Lita's being broken down. Can Lita withstand this surge? She must be close to finish now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Lita able to avoid impact. Launched into the cage. Between the ropes and a hard place. That's another focused attack to her torso area. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Saw it coming and got out of there. Enemy strike. What a combination. See here. here. Face buster. She's working her way up to the top of the cage. Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. She's reached the top of the cage here, guys. No, 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 no. Good Lord. From the top of the cage, there are no to describe it. Just good God. And now she's trying hard to scale up the cage. Getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. Oh, oh no. She has sent plummeting into the canvas. Oh, I did not like the look of that impact. This spells trouble for Lita. And now up the side of the cage she goes. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. And there she is finally reaching the top of the cage. And she is making climbing this steel cage look, look easy. She's looking exhausted from the climb. Does she have the stamina to make it out? what's left of one celebrating out visiting the medical facility tomorrow this win tonight may have been a career-defining moment they're definitely celebrating like it was
Based on how much Justine's been mouthing off on her podcast lately, seems like what you're doing is working. Not that I had any doubt. And with WrestleMania right around the corner. What are you thinking? I think it's time I stop avoiding Justine. The two of us need a face-to-face, -face, and I know exactly where to do it. Of course, it's obvious to anyone with a brain that my niece's efforts to undermine me, to undermine my legacy, are really the attempts of a weak, scared little girl. I just want to talk. Seems that we have an unexpected guest today. You may know her from her recent humbling loss to me at Elimination Chamber. My niece. Or as she always asked to be called growing up. Little Justine. So, LJ, I've got to ask, how does it feel to be nurtured by the best in the business and still be such a letdown? You know, you were the best in the business, Aunt Justine. I'm sure you didn't make the trip here to tell me what I already know. But isn't that what you said you want? For someone to give you your due? See... After the initial shock of seeing you at Elimination Chamber, I've had some more time to think. And you're right. You were never given proper credit for what you did and what you accomplished. So you did join me to make my own point. What's that you said on SmackDown? About having to survive a world five times as hard and seven times as brutal? In the moment, I think I would have said you were making excuses. But now I know you're exactly right. You did work harder to get less. You should have been the main event week after week when you were in WWE. Sure, they threw praise on your name after you retired, when management decided they needed to add another woman to the Hall of Fame, or now when they want to get a Legends ratings bump. Fans buy into that nostalgia but forget what it was really like for you. How they treated you when you were on the roster. What do you know about it? You don't understand. But that's just it. I do understand. You've been teaching me since my first day in WWE. And you know what I finally really get? Everything that you've complained about. That you're mad at. For all that you blame management or other things beyond your control. It's always been me who's been your real target. Because I'll never know the limitations that you did. I will get to push myself in ways you never could. Have opportunities that you never would have been given. And see how far I can really go. And you... Justine, you're a legend. The best of her time. Maybe could have been the best of all time if you had a level playing field. 
But the fact that you'll never know and I will, that's what you'll never forgive me for. And that's what's going to allow me to replace your legacy with my own. You ungrateful You're a selfish, self-centered, only thinks for herself. Because I'm the only one I could ever count on. Looks like we have something in common then. Because I certainly couldn't count on you. You don't deserve your talent. It should have been me. But it's not you, Justine. It's not you. It'll be me at WrestleMania. I've still got it. <laughs> sure. You've got what's left. Enjoy it while it lasts. But me? <laughs> I'm just getting started. You planning on stealing my title tonight? Your title? I excuse me? Is the SmackDown Women's Championship yours? Calm down, kid. I'm not talking about a championship. I'm talking about my honorific title, Mr. WrestleMania. Wouldn't it be... You know what? Never mind. If you mean do I plan to have the match of the night, then yes. 
Justine won't know what hit her. That's what I like to hear. And you should obviously always be focused on winning your match, especially tonight with everything that's on the line for you. But don't forget to have fun out there, too. I'll try. I'm not sure my aunt's betrayal has been particularly fun for me, though. I don't know, kids. Sometimes fun means being the daylight out of a once-trusted friend or family member. WWE superstars. We are just built different. Thanks. I think. I'm still not happy it's you and not me out there, but I do have a shared interest in seeing Justine lose the championship tonight. If she hadn't been in the dark pod, I would still be champion. So, good luck, I suppose. How big hearted of you. I'm just benevolent like that, I guess. Besides, you helped me with Stephanie. You were the only person who told it to me straight when everyone else was conspiring against me. Hey, I was right back when you started and I said we could be friends after all. Huh, I guess you were. You know, that's actually kind of sweet. And hopefully, I'll get to rightfully reclaim the championship from my friend very soon. If you win, your days as champion are already numbered. And there's the dewdrop I know. Seen a lot of people go out on the grandest stage of them all, but this feels different. Who are you rooting for, Tom? 
Ah, oh, LJ, don't ask me that. You know I love you both. I just want the two of you to sort this out. I don't know if that's possible. Justine gets bent out of shape about everything. You saw how she reacted when I dredged up her past and all the things that bother her. Hey, you're not perfect either, LJ. No one's forgotten what you did to your tag team partner. Point taken. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I know you can make it on your own. Even from your debut, you were confident and strong, wearing your own gear, rocking your own moves. But seeing you someday both move past this and work together, that would be something both the friend and the fan in me would like to see. We'll see, Tom. We'll see.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Here she is making her WrestleMania debut. to basically grow up in WWE, then to appear at WrestleMania against your aunt who brought you in? You couldn't write a better story. This isn't just a match, it's a therapy session with suplexes, submissions, and strikes. This is a woman ready to do some damage. Justine is back on the grandest stage of the all. No, this certainly isn't the first time she's been on the big stage, but for Justine, this WrestleMania will be like no other as she squares off against her own niece. You might worry that Justine might hold back at some point as maternal or protective instincts or whatever take over, but I'm fairly confident she doesn't have any of those, so this is gonna be fun! Introducing the challenger from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Ivy Green. And her opponent, she is the SmackDown Women's Champion, Justine. Anticipation building to see who will leave tonight as SmackDown Women's Champion. It doesn't get any bigger than the grandest stage of them all, and it doesn't get any more heart-wrenching than a battle between beloved relatives turned bitter rivals. And that's exactly what we've got at Wrestle Freaking Mania for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Every generational grudge match has led to this. It goes back a lot further than that, Saxton. A lifetime of idolizing her legendary aunt culminates here in this explosive showdown. Is it enough? Some shock in the arena after that kick out. Boom! Strong kick. My goodness. Senton hits the target. Justine is getting dominated. I think Justine needs to reformulate a strategy. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Isolating the foot, DDT on the foot. And targeting the leg there. Boom, oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. And a carefully measured knee drop. Jawbreaker interrupts the attack. Yeah, she's getting a determined focus again. And another counter. Sharp jab. And series of strikes to the back. That's just a beat down. She's fighting back. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Two. And still in this. She 
just will not go away. And she's stunned to the corner. A swing out. Neckbreaker from the second rope. Ah, look at this. Smart attacking the arm. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Targeting the arm to great effect. A oh, wrench in the arm, and then, oh, oh, what a knee strike. Justine fires back. A oh, roundhouse kick. Justine is getting dominated. Yeah, Justine needs to find that spark to turn things around. Jimbar Swanton! The champ has been taken to their limit. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Pitch me. I, I gotta be dreaming. There's no way she's still in this match. Full Nelson applied. Up and down. Like Saxtonation, but better. Justine got out of dodge. And did you hear the impact of that? And she can't find a response for this assault. Yeah, she just continues to unload on her opponent. Off the top rope. Over the victory roll. Looking for the victory. There's two. Almost beat the champ. This is amazing. She looks hell-bent on finishing things right now. On the second row. Oh, holy This is going to come down to who wants it more. She avoids the contact. Lands the elbow. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. Controlling the arm. Perfect knee. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Oh, she fights Justine back. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Sequence of reversals there. Aggressively attacking the shoulder. Suplex. Two. Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but I'm sure she has something up her sleeve here, Cole. Play for the world to see. Oh, look at this. How pretty is this? Oh, backpack face buster. Uh oh. It's gonna, we're gonna see it. Oh, it's gonna the net. We can have a new champion. She'd be 
standing tall with the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania? I'd have called it possible, but unlikely, Cole. What a match. And there's no question whose moment this is. Whatever and whoever may have defined this superstar in the past, she's now cemented her own legacy within WWE. We could be seeing this image at WrestleMania for years to come. Wait, what's happening? I'm not sure. Can Justine be trusted here? I don't believe it. It seems that even Justine's small heart grew three sizes today. If these two can get over the differences after the rivalry they've had, then anyone can do it. Look out! What the hell? The new champion was just ambushed from behind! It may be the end of this rivalry, but this champion story in WWE is just getting started. Yeah.